Welcome to the Windows and Computers and Technology channel. And uh, one of the things that I've been asked a few times, and some of you have actually used an ancient version of this that was a cool way to do it, uh, but unfortunately they removed the uh, fresh start option, which I believe maybe they did because manufacturers weren't happy that Microsoft give you the possibility of having, you know, just Windows and not all the crapware that comes around with your computer. So if you purchase a computer, if you have a computer right now that you've been using for a while, one of the things that manufacturers unfortunately do a lot is add tons of unwanted software and crapware. Actually, that is often why you have PC or Windows crashes more because of the software that these companies add than Windows itself. I see it all the time. 99% of all problems has a tech guy that I've detected over the years. It has nothing to do with Windows. It's hardware or third-party software related almost always. Um, so somebody came up to me today said, well, I went to the security app. I remember that in the security app, I had um, an option which was um, to fresh start, and you see it here. But now it's additional info, and it brings you to a, a, a useless Microsoft page that doesn't really say anything. So, of course, the question came to mind to a lot of people that miss fresh start, or anybody that has a new PC and says, you know, I'd like to start and have just Windows. What, what should I do? Well, it's simple. You can actually do this from within your Windows operating system. So if you have a new PC and you have tons of crapware that the company installed, simply go to the, the uh, notifications or go to your settings. In your settings, you can go to update and security. And here in the update and security, you will have recovery options right here. And now you have reset this PC if the PC isn't running well or whatever, or you just want to reinstall Windows fresh, click the Get Started button and simply choose Remove Everything. It's as simple as that. If you keep your files, it's going to keep uh, your personal files, but it's going to remove apps and settings. So if you have been using your PC, you can try the first option. It's going to remove the apps, the settings, but it's going to keep your personal files. But in the case of a new PC you haven't really used yet, just click the second option, remove everything, and make sure that you know everything is gone. This will remove all files and everything from your PC. So first option keeps your files, second option removes everything, including your personal files. So choose wisely to not lose anything, but this is the best way to start fresh, is to reset the PC. And this is going to install just Windows. You're not going to have the manufacturer's crapware. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.